The Punisher, number two. Face and the Condor gang are on the run. Unfortunately, the DEA are on their trails. More unfortunately, so is the Punisher. He's on the road and stops at a seedy motel, renting a room and laying his arsenal on the bed. Thanks to Olaf, Frank gets a tip on the gang's next drop. Slowly but surely, he picks off every last one of them until it's just face left. He takes the EMC and transforms into a brutal killing machine. Face counters every move the Punisher has, from bullets to pistol whippings. He finally steals a car from the scene on the battle and takes off, leaving a menacing Frank Castle standing alone with corpses and contemplating his next move. Back in Vermont, at what I assume is either the end game for EMC or close to it, some of the Condor thugs make plans to hide the massive stash of the drug they have with nefarious ways to do it. They know the Punisher is on his way, and this time they'll be ready. Sadly, one of the thug's daughters, Juniper, appears furnished with a suicide vest. Will they know no decency in trying to stop the Punisher? Only one way to find out in issue number three. Good short and to the point. While the artwork appears to be rushed, and this is in no means Steve Dillon's best work, may he rest in peace, the story still makes up for it, and I give it an 8 out of 10. If you like this video, give me a like and subscribe. This video is an accompaniment to my blog at nerdiestkidyouknow.blogspot.com or nerdiestkidyouknow.com. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, as well as a link to my eBay store by following the links below. For the Nerdiest Kid You Know, I'm Sam Torito. Thanks for watching.